Yeah, we're excited to break ground on the Countryside Custom today. It's going to be a really fun house. Um, there's all kinds of really cool features that are going inside of it, from the pool to the kids' gathering room. The master suite's going to be amazing. It has um, a wet room, which we're pretty excited about, and the butler's pantry will be really fun too. Yes, the footprint is the footprint's huge on this one. Pretty pretty good size. A lot of footings here. Um, our poor wall guy was even scratching his head a little bit, saying this one's <laughs> going to take a couple days, guys. So, so yeah, this one's going to be fun. Sits in here great. Today we're excavating. We're starting the foundation. Started started to take the foundation today. I'm getting ready for uh, footings and uh, board walls in the next couple days. So, should be exciting. Awesome. awesome. We can't wait. We're so excited. Today we're um, getting ready to set the roof trusses. We've got a crane coming shortly, so they're going to start on the garage, um, start swinging trusses up, and we'll get these up, and then they'll work their way across the top of the house. It's exciting. It's a nice snowy day for it. Um, essentially what a wet room is, is you're gonna, you're gonna have the shower and the tub all in one room. Um, everywhere you see this orange here is gonna be tiled. And we have this really, really pretty tile that's put on the floor. Um, it's gorgeous, we love this tile. We also are gonna take this tile and we're gonna run it on the back side of this niche over here. So it's gonna go in here. Um, the tub will be right in front of here, so this will be a great place for candles or shampoo. Um, it's just a great little storage area. And then we're also going to repeat this tile over here in the back of this niche. So it'll be a fun little pop that will tie the floor and the walls together and add a little character. Ethan's going to tell you a little bit more about the Schluter system that we use for the tile, um, for the back end of the tile, which is this orange stuff you see on the walls. So we shared earlier about the mud bed that we typically do under our tile 
floors, so that's why, so we have that under the main floor itself, and then we come over to the shower, and we continue the mud base through the shower, and we create a little curb system here. This fluter waterproofing system we use, especially for these wet rooms, because it creates an envelope, so the entire shower is waterproof, the walls, the floor, it's all um, pan water tested. We do, we've got the trench drain here, which is gonna be pretty cool so you don't have a big gaudy drain in the middle of the shower. And then the last thing, the finishing touch we'll add, is there's gonna be a big glass partition here, and then the shower door will be right over here. So this will all be enclosed, um, and yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be gorgeous. Can't wait to see it. Um, so the kitchen has all kinds of fun features and one of them I wanted to point out in particular was this sink. So we chose to put the sink in the kitchen island to maximize space um, and then you also kind of feel involved in what's going on in the living room as you're cleaning up the mess in the kitchen. So we have this really pretty marble looking quartz on the countertops. So in here is the pool bath. I absolutely love this room. I love the beachy feel it has to it. This bathroom is only accessible via the exterior. So right now we're in the butler's pantry. Um, this essentially is a secondary kitchen, um, which you access right here through the kitchen. Um, and my favorite feature of this room is going to be the wallpaper that's gonna be installed. It is absolutely incredible, and I am shocked they actually picked it because it's very bold, um, but it'll be a lot of fun. We did a tin ceiling here, and it looks incredible. We are absolutely in love with how this tin ceiling turned out. So up in here, we have the girls' bathroom. We have a pink tub. What little girl would not want a pink tub? And this amazing penny tile. I love the iridescence of it. It just adds such a fun sparkle and reflects so many fun colors and I just think this is a little girl's dream. And then last but not least, this is um, their son's bathroom. So cute. We went with the navy vanity in here to give it a little bit more of a masculine touch and added some black and brass accents. And we went with a beveled subway tile on the showers in here and a darker grout, again, to give it a little bit more manliness. This is a massive mudroom. In the half bath, we have a couple cute little details in here. Um, again, we went with this adorable cement tile. This by far is one of my favorite tiles in the house. It doesn't look like much. It looks like just a bookcase, but what's behind it is pretty incredible. Here, we have the master closet. She went with this gorgeous light fixture, which just adds so much sparkle and charm in here and the notable feature in here is definitely the washer and dryer. We incorporate a 
pan underneath the washer, a disaster pan in the event of any leak. So our favorite feature in the master bedroom, um, well, there's a lot of favorite features in here. And my favorite part is this right here, this reclaimed wood wall. And then through here is the absolute showstopper of the entire house. This is my favorite feature in my favorite room. And this is called a wet room. I know we talked a little bit about this at the rough-in phase. So on the other side of the master bathroom, we have, we did split vanities, which are really nice because it allows him and her to have their own separate spaces. And then there's this toilet room, which we could, you could literally do a cartwheel in. It's massive. 